here, back with another video. I hope you guys really enjoyed my 510 replay robot run. I was pretty proud of that video. But now, we are working on cutting down on time and increasing our points, and which will post in our improvement video. One of our, the improvements we wanted to do was making the step counter slide in faster. Now, as you guys know, the step counter has a mechanism, which is down here. And basically how this works is if you try to push it in too fast, it self locks itself. Now, this can be really hard to overcome. And the intuitive way, an easy way to overcome this is to make it slide very slow. But for our team, that took us 11 seconds. And when you only have two minutes and 30 seconds on the field, that is way too long to sacrifice for a 20 point mission. So here is the way we found to solve the step counter in almost less than two seconds. Let's get into it. So I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're resetting the step counter, let's say that your robot has pushed this all the way in. When you're resetting it, if you hold this piece right here and don't allow it to spin, you can pull it out extremely fast. Basically what this does is it stops the shaking of this mechanism, which makes it lock. So if you hold it, it can slide it. Our team noticed this pretty early in the season, and we started thinking about it. And we thought, what if there's a way we could get a robot to stop this from moving? Then you would be able to step, slide in the step counter just like this, extremely quickly, as opposed to 11 seconds. So here is how we did that. The obvious way is to mimic a human hand and hold it still like this. But we find with the robot, that is extremely hard. So we built a very long bar in order to solve it. Here's how it works. When the bar is positioned like this, when coming at a base, it comes through here and it aligns up with this white piece right here. When it keeps going, it blocks it and keeps going. Now, since this is held in place by the bar, the robot can move it in as fast as it wants because it can't shake because obviously the bar is a flat surface. That is how we solve this mission in less than two seconds. I hope some teams looking to cut down on time found this useful. We'll be posting some more improvements and we'll be posting our FLL improvement video soon. It should be in under two minutes, so it'll be like a normal robot match and it should score more points than 510. I hope you enjoy. And this is the Wordy Nerd 48 channel, signing off for now.